Well, around one in six kids in the United States has a developmental disability, according to the CDC. And March is a month dedicated to empowering those very children and teaching others how to be more inclusive. That also includes talking to your own kids about being kind to others who are growing up with an extra set of challenges. Joining me now is Katie Neese. She is the CEO of the ARC of the United States, the largest national organization that advocates for and with people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Katie, it's a pleasure to be with you this Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining us. And, you know, let's just first sort of set the scene and, and talk about even terminology and how we talk about this with our viewers. What exactly do we mean when we refer to developmental disabilities? Sure, thanks for having me today. So a, a person with a developmental disability has a, de a disability that's going to start before they're age 22 and will last pretty much the course of their lifetime. Some common developmental disabilities are Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, and autism. And about one out of every six children has a developmental disability. It's been, when, you, when you mention that number, I mean, that's a, a striking statistic that a lot of people probably realize that they don't even know, that they may already know someone mm -hmm. who's living mm -hmm. with a disability. They may not even see or be aware of. I mean, how can parents then teach their kids to be more empathetic and inclusive? Sure. So I think one of the things that every parent can do is recognize that every child, whether they have a disability or not, has unique strengths and talents. And for parents of children without disabilities, um, they need to teach their children to be inclusive and respectful and value of their peers who have disabilities. They also should teach their children to not be afraid of someone with mm. a disability. I think that's really important. There's I nothing scary about a child with a disability. A child with a disability, whether it's autism or Down syndrome or cerebral palsy, is a child and is a child first and foremost and is part of a family just like all other families. I love that. I think in, in encouraging people to see the commonalities and understand that whether we're talking about a disability or just difference in general, right. that is right. not Absolutely. de facto a scary thing for adults or for kids. So what about parents who do have a child with a developmental disability? I mean, what is it that you, you think the rest of us need to know so that we can empower those parents and help those parents succeed? Sure. Um, too many children with disabilities are held to a very low expectation, level mm. of expectation. And what we know is with the right services and supports, children with all kinds of disabilities grow up to be adults with disabilities who are independent and active members of their community. We have to have high expectations for children at all times, and we need to focus on each child's strength. Every child has a strength. Every child has interests and focusing on those and how we help that child um, hone those strengths mm -hmm. and expand their interests is what education's all about and what it's all about to grow up in, in, a, in a family. So I think those are the things that are most important. I think the other thing is for parents to know they're not alone, that there are organizations like the ARC who are here to be your partner and your advocate and your cheerleader to help you through life's journey, that you don't have to do this alone, and that there are really good things in your future. Really good things in your future. Um, really a message of faith and hope and inclusion. CEO of the ARC of the United States, Katie Neese. Katie, thanks so much for bringing this topic to us. We really appreciate it. My and pleasure. to our viewers, stay with us. You're watching NBC News Daily.